A very warm welcome to the Estadio Hernando Siles in La Paz for match day two of the South American FIFA World Cup qualifiers. It's Bolivia versus Argentina. And that means Lionel Messi. Bolivians endured a pretty miserable start to qualifying on Friday, going down 5-0 to Brazil. Argentina are off and running after a 1-0 win over Ecuador. We start with the anthems. was here mortal as a sacred cry now Bolivians a most favorable destiny It's the 40th meeting between the nations. Unsurprisingly, Argentina have a fine record against their host tonight. 27 wins, five draws, and just seven defeats. Well, let's take a look at the lineups tonight. Bolivia coach Cesar Farias rings the changes after the 5 0 defeat in Sao Paulo last week. And he's gone for experience up front, to put it politely. 33 year old Marcelo Martins is alongside 41-year-old Carlos Salcedo. 13 years since his international debut. Five changes in all, with starts for Torres at the back and Chumacero and Castro in midfield. Just one change for Argentina after their win over Ecuador. Ezequiel Palacios of Bayer Leverkusen starts in midfield in place of Marcos Acuna. Lionel Messi earns cap number 140 he scored his 71st international goal from the penalty spot against Ecuador. Also in attack is Sevilla's Lucas Acampos, who won that penalty, and Inter's Lautaro Martinez, who has nine goals in 18 international appearances. And a look at the substitutes. You can see Marcos Acuna, number eight for Argentina, the unlucky man to make way. Brighton's Alexis McAllister there, number 21. Remember, the coaches can make up to five changes in these qualifiers. Uh -huh. 
Well, the effects of the coronavirus pandemic continue to be felt. The match being played behind closed doors. You can imagine what the atmosphere would be like here with a full stadium. And we hope to return to those days sooner rather than later. But football continues. And the long road to Qatar 2022 has begun. A period of silence for the victims of the pandemic and key workers around the world. We are underway. Contrasting fortunes for these two nations on match day one. Can Argentina in the white or the light strips build on that uh, hard fought win over Ecuador or can Bolivia? put their thrashing in Brazil behind them and pick up their first points of qualifying. That's certainly what Cesar Farias is hoping for. Argentina, of course, made pretty hard work of qualifying for the last World Cup. Only seven wins from 18 qualifiers and only 19 goals scored. To say it was unconvincing would be a pretty big understatement, actually. But they haven't failed to qualify for a World Cup since 1970. And even though they've had their uncomfortable moments here in La Paz in the past, they'll expect to pick up three more points here this evening. Square ball by Carrasco. This is uh, Sagredo. Now Valverde. Certainly no pressing early on from Argentina. Of course, we are at altitude here. And that does have an effect. Three thousand six hundred and thirty seven meters above sea level to be precise. You may remember back in 2009, April Fool's Day 2009, appropriately enough. Bolivia beat Argentina here by six goals to one. Argentina's worst defeat for 60 years. There's plenty of people who say that the altitude does give Bolivia a huge advantage here. If you look at their home record for uh, qualifying for the last four World Cups, 14 home wins and 10 home draws only two away draws and no away wins Talia Fico with the throw for Argentina just a little flick from Martinez and that's a foul by Carrasco Talia Fico of Ajax, the player brought down. Lionel Scaloni, the 42 year old coach of Argentina, appealing vociferously. Early set piece opportunity here for Argentina. You know who over the ball 
Referee unhappy about the positioning of the free kick. Paredes there as well, if they fancy an in swinger. It is Paredes. Just too deep. Played into a good area in terms of the corridor, but overhit. Letting Bolivia a little bit off the hook there. Well, the flag was up, but uh, the ball was safely back in the arms of uh, Franco Armani, the River Plate goalkeeper. Play on. Closed down by Carlos Salcedo. Not many players in these World Cup qualifiers born in the 1970s, but he's won. And ball given here, so a free kick again to Argentina. Just off the arm of the right back, Saul Torres. <laughs> Again, a vociferous appeal from Scaloni, who was in the squad for Argentina himself for the 2006 World Cup. Been in charge in one form or another since the disappointment of the last World Cup in Russia. Initially, he was caretaker head coach with Pablo Aymar. Two years ago, he was given the job full time. Led Argentina to third place at the Copa America. Castro. Nicely taken there by Cardozo. It's a throw to Bolivia. Played by Otamendi. Castro. Smuggled it out to Torres. And Martins is over there. And having got his head to the ball, he'll be disappointed not to get it on target. Well, Marcelo Martins Moreno, to give him his full name, peeling away on the far post. Just seemed to lose his bearing as the cross was floated towards him hit the side netting positive stuff though from the home side torres space here for chumacero martins again calling for it on the far post chumacero low this time and struck by raul castro Very difficult ball to hit and uh, blazed it over. <laughs> Decent start though for Bolivia. That really, really tough start in Sao Paulo last week. I mean, uh, Brazil away, Argentina at home. That's a really difficult proposition at the start of these uh, long run of qualifiers. You come away with anything from those two, you've done well. Acampos, Palacios. Well, he's gone down under the challenge of Castro. It's soft, but uh, the referee gives the free kick. Otamendi. Lucas Martinez Quarta. It's given away to Rodrigo de Paul. Now Palacios. Messi and 
back to Paredes. Well, he certainly wasn't afraid to let fly, was he? Leandro Paredes. Look how far out he is there. 30, 35 yards. PSG midfielder. Has just three international goals so far. Palacios to Messi. Shrugs off Diego Waya. And Messi gets it out to Ocampos. To the byline. Well, pulled it back a little too far in the end. The pal was in a good position. It's the first bit of really scintillating build up play we've seen from Argentina. Paredes to Taliafico. Ocampos. Just starting to seize the initiative now. Argentina after a sluggish start. Well, that's out of play. Castro. Up to the captain, Martins. Oh. Shoot on sight, seems to be the policy. Hard to remember a time when he wasn't uh, leading the line for Bolivia. Came in as a very young man, didn't he? Qualifying for the 2010 World Cup, scored some important goals. Thought he was fouled, the referee disagreed. It's back with Carlos Lampe, the 33-year-old goalkeeper of Bolivia. Plays for San Jose. Cardoza. Nudged inside, looking for the veteran Salcedo just uh, perhaps caught on his heels a little bit. Carrasco with the ball forward, chasing it down. Martins. Salcedo hoping for a cross. Well blocked though by Otamendi. These days of Benfica. 72nd international cap for him. Only Messi has more in this current squad. Well won back by Castro. Chimacero. Martins. Salcedo waiting for the cross and headed over his own bar by Martinez Cuarta. Those front two may have uh, a fair few years behind them, but they're linking up nicely, or certainly trying to. Combined age of 74, that front two, which is pretty astonishing at this level. First corner goes Bolivia's way. Didn't reach Martins. Holding their own, to say the least here. Chumacero gets it inside. Cardozo. Straight at uh, Franco Armani. 13th cap for the 33-year-old goalkeeper. Yeah. 
shouldn't be much of a contest in terms of the uh, FIFA World Rankings. Argentina currently at nine, Bolivia at 75. Tranquilo, tranquilo. As I mentioned, uh, Argentina have come a cropper here once or twice. The most recent meeting actually was here three years ago in a qualifier for the Russia World Cup. Bolivia were 2-0 winners. Lionel Messi was suspended for that one. He was watching it from the stands while serving a four-match ban for swearing at a match official. He's on the ball now. The four meetings before that were all won comprehensively by Argentina without conceding. Segredo to Castro. Cardozo. Raul Castro again. Oh, he's just tickled that with the outside of his right boot. That was really well done up to Salcedo. But Argentina win it back. Ocampos. And he's got it through to Martinez. Oh, Campos showed a little too much of that to Chimacero and then he came flying in there, Talia Fico, who's shown the yellow card for that challenge. That was certainly robust, to say the least. Felt the full force of that, Alejandro Chimacero. Whenever you leave the ground like that, you take a risk. Certainly got the ball. Valverde. Castro. A bit of a flea in his ear there from his captain for that ball. Seed a lot of the ball though early on as uh, Raul Castro. Start from uh, Alvi Celeste so far. Header back from Otamendi. Had to shield it from Salcedo because he didn't quite get hold of the header. Talia Pico looking for Palacios. Held up by Carrasco. He's got it back again here. Campos. Paredes. Messi. Clear handball by Lucas Acampos. Diego Wyatt to Raul Castro. Sal Torres. Oh, we're seeing some slick passing here from Bolivia. Certainly asking questions.
Martins. Chimacero. Well, teed up by his captain. He's a little disappointed here because it was a, a decent chance to test our money. opening 20 minutes it's the home side who've had the clearer opportunities could that change here Argentina winning a corner out of nothing, really, their first of the game. Messi will be 35 by the time the 2022 finals come along. It'll be his last chance for sure. Argentina haven't won the World Cup, of course, since 1986. Got to the final in 2014. But uh, knocked out in Russia by France in the round of 16. Unbelievable match it was, of course, 4-3. Paredes, he'll have another go. And it flashes about the same amount wide of the same post. Bolivia will be pretty content if the majority of Argentina's shots come from that type of range. Wide by Valverde. Carrasco tickled out wide for Torres. Quickly closed down by Palacios. And here goes De Powell. Well, it was neither an attempt or a pass out wide, really. Wide by Castro. Valverde. Wire to Cardozo. Oh, Martins is in there. Well, he had sneaked in around the back of Talia Fico. Whistle has gone for offside. A wag of the finger. Let's take a look. Yeah, good decision by the referee's assistant. But he certainly got away from Talia Fico. He has had uh, a couple of headed opportunities midway through the first half. Plenty of positives for Cesar Parias, the Venezuelan coach of Bolivia. Of course, spent six years in charge of the Venezuela team. Very nearly got them to the 2010 World Cup. Finished just two points short of fifth place. Martins, whether he intended that layup, I'm not sure. Cardozo couldn't get the shot away. And the break could be on. Ocampos. Oh, he's danced away from Carrasco. And then Carrasco didn't really make much of a challenge. Ocampos went over, but the referee just ran in the opposite direction. 
dismissively and uh, no appeals in truth Jim is set up Martins goal Bolivia take the lead and it's their captain Marcelo Martins who has a bit of history in this fixture he's done it again one header into the side netting that was the warning this one planted perfectly past Franco Armani oh the cross was begging to be headed in brilliant from Chimacero and how about that for a header top quality Chimacero appeared to be looking to get it out wide on the overlap that wasn't really on so he played it in himself and Marcelo Martins Moreno the gleeful goal scorer what a moment for him what a moment for Bolivia What is Argentina's response? Well, the whistle's gone. Bolivia understandably appealing with the ball in the goalkeeper's arms. And discussions continue. Well, the referee has grabbed the ball and given himself a little bit of thinking time here. He's going to have a word with Franco Armani. Well, we play on. Martins uh, previously scored in a one-all draw against Argentina. That was in 2013. As I say, he's been in the uh, been in the international setup a long time. His first call-up, September 2007, and of course he scored in the 6-1 win over. Diego Maradona's Argentina, that famous match I referred to at the start, that 6-1 in April 2009. I don't think it'll be 6-1 here, but will Bolivia manage to get three points out of Argentina again? Just as they did then, just as they did three years ago. A 19th international goal for the Bolivia captain here's Ocampos headed away by Carrasco Collected by Torres. They're off again with Rudy Cardozo. Oh, I think Martins was just deceived by the bounce of the ball. Well, this was the earlier run from Ocampos. Just the slightest of nudges from Carrasco, but are you not going to get a penalty for that? And in truth, there was no appeal at all. <laughs> One back by Castro. 
bright and enterprising again in midfield. Fortamendi. He's happy just to boot that into touch. Torres with the throw. Why oh, yeah. They will get the return here. There's no offside. Just tried to chip it up for Salcedo. Salcedo making it clear he felt that was the wrong option. Made it easier for the pal to get it away. You have to concede a corner. They're rocking here, Argentina. Cesar Farias sensing a real opportunity here for Bolivia. Second corner for the home side. Short to Chimacero. In by Castro. And a comfortable catch for Armani. Well, based on what we've seen in the opening half an hour, it's certainly not an unfair reflection of what, uh, of how this match has gone. The scoreline, of course, you always have to factor in the uh, altitude here in La Paz. It's been said so many times. Nonetheless, credit to Bolivia. They've uh, looked to take the game to Argentina. They've been sluggish, the visitors. And they'll certainly need to improve. Here is the goal scorer, Martins, looking to turn provider here. Salcedo nipped in between the defenders to get his head to the ball as he has been doing for decades Messi looking to try and exert a bit more influence on the game that is threaded through to Martinez oh the cutback is cleared by Wyatt that may be the first time they've actually got in behind Argentina unfortunately for them the cutback wasn't good enough now down goes Lautaro Martinez, and that's a free kick to Argentina. Something that Bolivia want to avoid because it gives Messi the opportunity to play the ball unopposed into the penalty area. Opportunity here for Scaloni's side. Messi's ball towards that near post area. You saw Salcedo with his arms behind his back. Whistle's gone for the free kick to Bolivia. Raul Castro, the player who was nursing his left hip. This is why. Quite a devilish ball, actually, by Messi. And then a Campos barging into Castro. Hey, 
in any rush Carlos Lampe Bolivia would love to get to half time with their clean sheet intact Sagreda picked up by DePaul it's all rather labored from uh, Argentina They've taken that free kick quickly, and that could certainly work to their advantage. Ocampos, oh, the deflection. Lampe scrambling to his right-hand post, fearful that that might be creeping in. Second corner for Argentina. Change of tack. Andre Paredes comes across. Ten minutes to half time. Too deep. Too deep for Martinez. In the end, a wasteful delivery. Really, the sum total of Argentina's attacking threat has been a couple of long-range pot shots from Paredes. Well, the noise you're hearing is not just coming from the uh, members of the Bolivia squad. There are fans watching from balconies around the stadium. Cardoza. I think Salcedo really wants to be chasing too many of those at 41. Torres. Straight to Nicolas Taliafico. And he'll take it on here, the Ajax man. But that is straight through to Lampe. There was just a risk that. The defender in front of him might get a touch past his own keeper. Oh, they've just been a bit sloppy in possession the last few minutes, Bolivia. Argentina fuming in the, the throws given against them. That's a lot of anguish over a throw-in. Segreda. Castro. Back to Segreda. Oh, a heavy touch. Disappointing from him. Disappointing for him. Valverde has shown the yellow card for that challenge. On uh, Martinez. Well, it broke down because of the heavy touch from Segredo and that forced Valverde into emergency action. Ocampos. Palacios. That will be another free kick. Foul by Castro this time. Rodrigo de Paul, the player, brought down. 
Again, not uh, too bad a free kick to give away from Bolivia's perspective. Referee saying, wait for the whistle. Something that Arsene Wenger said uh, just yesterday, he wants to stop in football. As soon as the free kick's given, you should be able to take it, he said. Messi deflected, another corner. All of the attempts are coming from outside the box for Argentina. Could a set piece offer them a way back into this game. Outswinger from Lionel Messi. He'll get another chance. Paredes. Oh, off the frame of the goal. His third attempt of this first half, and he's getting closer and closer. That's a blistering strike off the upright from Leandro Paredes of Paris Saint-Germain. Well, you can't get much closer. Carlos Lampe was just rooted to the spot. with the throw for Bolivia. Forward by Castro. Collected here by De Powell. The pressure from Diego Guaya. And a lot more pressing from Bolivia in uh, forward areas. Messi. Little burst of acceleration from the captain, Martinez, and again, Palacios, Taliafico, Ocampos, Taliafico just trying to squeeze that through to Messi, put behind by Carrasco. Critical moments these really, as we tick towards half time. Bolivia desperate to keep their lead intact. Argentina certainly applying more pressure than at any other time in the half. Corner number four. Again, Leandro Paredes over the ball. He's gone for that deep one again. That's a, a better delivery this time. Had both Talia Fico and Otamendi hoping to get on the end of it. Here's the earlier chance from Paredes. Messi with the layoff and cutting across the ball, smashes flush against the upright. Certainly, had that been on target, there was no saving it. Bit of good fortune for Bolivia. But again, it's a shot from outside the box from Argentina. Gabriel Valverde. Most of the Bolivia players do play in the domestic league. As in contrast, of course, Argentina, highly cosmopolitan squad, players all over Europe. 
and South America. Forward by Segredo. Well, that's a poor pass, really. It allowed Palacios to make a challenge. Yaya gets the free kick. It's taken quickly. Here's Cardozo. Oh, the chance was there to play the fullback in. Segredo have made the run. And he made the foul. Argentina looked to capitalize on that. Martinez. Oh, decided to go on the outside. And the pullback. Oh, it's in! A free goal. Carrasco hit it against Martinez and into the net. And that's exactly the break that Argentina needed. A moment's hesitation at the back from Jose Carrasco. And then when he tried to clear, he smashed it against Lautaro Martinez. And the ricochet took it in for his 10th international goal. Well, suddenly Bolivia were a little bit outnumbered. But even so, there, that was the chance to clear. But that uh, fraction of a second hesitation proved fatal. And credit to Martinez for sticking out a leg and diverting it in. It's a soft goal for Bolivia to concede, but the visitors aren't complaining. It's all square in La Paz. Martins for Bolivia, Martinez for Argentina. And just the one minute of added time at the end of the half. Bolivia very, very close to getting to the interval in front. That's a huge boost for Argentina, who have certainly not been at their best. And that's putting it kindly. Talia Fico. Good take from Lampe. His clearance goes straight through to Armani. Certainly the pressure had been building from Argentina. They've got their equaliser, and at half-time it's all square. Well, that was a real battle, wasn't it? That first 45, the captain of Bolivia, Marcelo Martins, heading Bolivia into the lead. That man hitting the frame of the goal, Paredes, before, as I say, a bit of a freak goal in many respects. Carrasco trying to clear on the near post, hitting it straight against Martinez, who diverted it in. A poacher's goal, really. And that'll do nicely as far as Argentina are concerned. Which way will this go? in the second half it'll be fascinating to see because it's been pretty much even stevens half time bolivia one argentina one <laughs>
OK, commentary on Bolivia versus Argentina resuming in 10 seconds. Welcome back to the wonderful stadium here in La Paz, the Estadio Hernando Siles. And as you can see, the home side about to make a change with Antonio Bustamante coming on. Started the game uh, away to Brazil last week. The man who got their goal, Marcelo Martins, all smiles. Terrific header that was. Here come Argentina, who were well below par in that first half, but managed to snaffle themselves a late, late equaliser through Lautaro Martinez of Inter in Serie A means he has 10 goals in 19 caps that's a really good start to his international career so Bustamante replacing Carlos Salcedo so the 41 year old is withdrawn no dream goal for him against Argentina tonight Bustamante gets his second cap. So away we go in the second half. Bolivia in the green, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side in this second 45. Just confirmation of that change with uh, Antonio Bustamante, 23, made his debut in that defeat in Sao Paulo last week. Now comes on for his second appearance. First cap against Brazil, second against Argentina. De Paul out to Montiel, looking for that near post. And he's getting the free kick. He fouled uh, Rudy Cardozo, so Bolivia will take that. Good run there from Torres. It's quite good down the uh, right-hand side in that first half. Very amazing. Castro. That's uh, a little too strong for Sal Torres. Well, we did wonder if Argentina would be the ones to make the first change at half time, but it was Cesar Farias who. Blinked first. Bolivia's last win in a competitive uh, fixture, by the way, is against Chile, September 2017. 1-0. They've actually lost nine of their last ten. And the one they didn't lose was a win against Haiti in a friendly last week so to take the lead here was a real turn up Martinez Palacios looking to fashion something here a Campos Paredes up to Messi gets it back from Talia Pico swiftly snuffed out by Bolivia
Argentina are going to have to work hard here if they're to get all three points. You may remember back in 2017, Neymar posted photos of the Brazil players with oxygen masks before their World Cup qualifier here. He said it was inhumane to play under these conditions because of the altitude. Castro booted away by Otamendi. Torres. Castro. Bustamante trying to bulldoze his way through. Waya. Torres. Here is Bustamante. Castro. Trying to just slide that through to Martins. He was just carefully nudged away from the ball by Lucas Martinez Quarta of uh, Fiorentina. Cardozo. Still looking to take the game to the visitors here, Bolivia. Bustamante. Castro goes down under the challenge of Palacios. That's a free kick to Bolivia. Ezequiel Palacios, just a fifth cap for him. Plays in the Bundesliga for Bayer Leverkusen. Now, they're not taking any chances here, Argentina. This is a long, long way out. The wall is, what, 10 yards outside the box, but they've still got four men in it. Trumacero uh, runs over the ball, and it was on target, to be fair, but it has to be something really special to beat Armani. No question that Cardozo got his laces behind it. Does have six international goals. Header by Otamendi. Good switch of play, Montiel of River Plate, he's got it into Messi, back to Montiel, well blocked by Segredo, the left back. But Jose and Jesus Segredo starting the game against Brazil, Jesus on the bench this time. That one's fired wide, optimistic from there, from uh, Nicolas Taliafico. Yet to score for Argentina. This is 27th international appearance. Gabriel Valverde booked in the first half with Taliafico. Why up? Castro. 
Bustamante. Lots of possession for Bolivia. Messi hoping to capitalize on an error there, and Messi will close this down. Martinez is in a good position. It's still Messi. First effort blocked. Paredes leaves it. And then that's horribly lifted over the crossbar by Palacios. Well, the first effort from Messi was well blocked. He did have the opportunity to try and find Martinez, opted to go alone. It's usually a good decision when you're Lionel Messi. Here come the home side again. Martins hoping to get on the end of that, headed away by Cuarta. I don't think Bolivia necessarily want the game to be stretched, but that's what's happening here. Wide by Ocampos. Martinez. Oh, that was hit and hope, really, and now it's Bolivia's turn. Wide open spaces in midfield. Tristamante. Martins. Cardozo. Chimacero. Torres. Cardozo. And again. Oh, he certainly set himself for the shot, but it was a disappointing effort. Changes of foot. Looking at uh, the two benches. So certainly a situation where you can imagine Argentina using all five substitutions. <laughs> certainly Carlos Correa is uh, set to come on first. come Bolivia again it squirmed its way out to Cardozo back down the line by Segreda Castro switches it out to Torres foot in by Palacios Well won back by Waya. Really good challenge. Martins. Just Cardozo in the middle. Chimacero. Valverde has uh, picked a decent pass there to Cardozo. Sagredo. Good spell of possession from Bolivia. Still. Correa waits to come on for Argentina. Bustamante. Hoiked away by Otamendi. Still Bolivia in possession. Forward by Segreda. They've got a player down here, Carrasco. So they put it out of play, and it means that Argentina can make this change now. Looks like Ocampos to come off. Carrasco is still on his haunches, as you can see, nursing that right foot. Well, he's OK. And Carlos Joaquin Correa. 
can come on. This is what happened to Carrasco. It was the right boot of Martinez that made contact. Both going for a 50-50, really. Time to bring on their number nine. Lazio forward. Earning cap number five for Argentina. Off goes Ocampos. Won the crucial penalty against Ecuador early on. Put away by Messi. Correa hoping to add to the one goal he has for his country. Gabriel Valverde. Oh, Castro didn't deal with it. Messi sets them on their way. Good ball by Paredes. Down goes Correa. Yellow card shown to Carrasco. That was very, very close to the penalty area. Well, Correa, who's just come on here, was found by Paredes and an arm came out from Jose Carrasco. No complaints about the yellow card, but it could be a costly error because it's the sort of position Lionel Messi absolutely loves. An hour gone in La Paz. Well, alarm bells ringing here for the home side, massively. The disappearing spray has disappeared. That wall just edging forward. Critical moment in the game, this. Oh, they are creeping forward now. Well, it's all about the left foot of Messi here. Oh, he struck that low into the wall. And that is a very ambitious effort from there. That all comes to nothing. He was possibly hoping the wall was going to jump. Hoping to outfox them. Martins didn't quite keep that in. And you still wouldn't like to call this at this stage. The third of the contest to play. Openings for both sides. Messi, lovely touch. Martinez hoping to burst through. Sal Torres came across from right fullback to block it away. What a delightful touch that was from Messi. Fifth corner for uh, Albi Celeste. A lot of grappling inside the box. The referee's keeping an eye on it. Here comes Messi's delivery. Oh, it's loose. Chance maybe for Otamendi. Couldn't get it under control. Bustamante was hoping to break, and he has got it. Trying to feed it through to Chimacero. That'll be a throw to Bolivia.
Bolivia looking at making some changes. Not just yet. The referee just uh, in contact with the other officials, but he's happy for play to continue. Talia Fico with the throw to Martinez. Good header away by Gabriel Valverde, who's been really solid at the back. Chumacero jumping into his man. Paredes left holding the side of his face here. I think they were looking at a handball there. But uh, as you can see, nothing given. Contentious issue in football at the moment. Penalties given for seemingly innocuous handballs. So, Boris Cespedes and Bruno Miranda coming on here. Castro, the first player to make way. Boris Cespedes, who plays in Switzerland for Servette. It's only his uh, second international cap. Chumacero makes way with Bruno Miranda coming on. 22-year-old forward. Cap number eight for him. So that's three changes made by Bolivia. So far, just one for Argentina. Remember, the coaches can make up to five. Otamendi. Oh, cleverly guided down. Oh, not cleverly returned, though, from Correa. What a waste. Martinez with a lovely cushioned ball for the substitute. First contribution for Cespedes, and he gave it away. Here goes Messi. That's a clever ball to find Palacios. They try to get him round the back again. That's another wasteful ball. Martinez this time, the culprit. The man who got the equaliser right at the end of the first half. Kept himself on side, but then... What a strange ball that is. See the two substitutes for Argentina, bottom of your picture. Guido Rodriguez, Nicolas Dominguez. Waiting to come on in a double change. As we tick past the midway point of this second half. Still all square. Cespedes. So, Rodrigo de Pal makes way for Nicolas Dominguez of Bologna, 22-year-old midfielder. Cap number seven for him. And Guido Rodriguez, who plays in Spain for... Real Betis, he replaces Rodrigo de Paul. Well, Leandro Paredes 
the second man off. And Rodriguez earns a tenth cap for Argentina. It's a decisive double switch in midfield by Lionel Scaloni. Of course, these changes can be so, so critical given the altitude. Just a bit of uh, freshness in midfield could make all the difference. Cardoza. Back to Torres. Carrasco. Cespedes. Carrasco. Bustamante. Just tickles it past Dominguez, who's just come on. Guaya. Torres. Cespedes. Miranda. Argentina with lots of players back here. Guaya. Torres. Well, once again, that final ball has just proved to be the Achilles heel for Bolivia. Lots of promising build-up play. Just when they try to get him round the back, that critical key pass eludes them. Well, that was a, a simple pass that eluded Argentina. Possession squandered very, very cheaply. Segreda. Miranda. Now says Perez. 20 minutes to go. Bolivia heading for their first point of this qualifying campaign, hoping for more. Remember, they won the last meeting between these sides three years ago. Having lost the previous four very heavily. Needless to say, their World Cup qualifying record is not great. Miranda did make it to USA 94. That was their first World Cup since 1950. Haven't qualified since. They do have a corner, their third of the game, first of the second half. Rudy Cardozo to take. Oh, Martins was setting himself for a bullet header. Just came off the defender first. Bustamante. Cardozo. Argentina stopping the cross coming in. Played forward by Miranda, but they've given it away. Palacios was fouled. Well, again, Cesar. Farias's side doing their best to put pressure on their illustrious elite opponents. He certainly couldn't rule out another goal for Bolivia. Can they keep the door closed at the other end? That's the question. A lot of attacking flair on show for Argentina now. Palacios. Italia Pico. Not what he was intending. So 
certainly suspicion of handball there. Certainly the point that uh, Scaloni is making to the referee in no uncertain terms. Both officials were uh, blindsided of that. Dominguez for Argentina. Messi. Montiel. Dominguez down the line for Martinez and now Messi he's given Wyatt the slip and he's got it through Martinez oh what a brilliant save Lautaro Martinez convinced he was in for a second look at this from Messi superb Wyatt left on his backside Martinez got it through and what a save that is from Carlos Lampe. He's hardly had a save to make in the game. And that was spectacular. Martinez can't believe he hasn't finished that. Argentina do have a corner to be taken by Correa. Good header by Valverde. Really good defensive header. Quarter of an hour to play. Game is fascinatingly poised. There's certainly plenty of tension. Every throw in is being very hotly contested here. Cespedes. They really have tried to use the flanks, Bolivia. Because of the aerial prowess of Martins, we saw what a fabulous header he scored in the first half. Oh, nice turn. Messi. Tackle by Segredo. Stopped him temporarily. And then that's out of play by Palacios. Cleared by Carrasco, but he uh, very nearly gave it away. It's the last thing they want to be doing as we move towards the closing stages. I think Bolivia would surely take a point. They do have Nelson Orozco getting ready to come on here. Bolivia. Balls back with Armani. Hasn't had a lot to do since half time. He's certainly the busier of the goalkeepers in the first half. Most of Argentina's efforts in the first half were from outside the box. They've threatened to add to the Martinez goal several times in this second half without finding a way through. Well, he kept that in, did uh, Miranda, but it's only benefited Argentina. Messi's played it through for Martinez. It's a magnificent goal for Argentina, and it's their number nine, Correa. He's smashed it home. 
They've turned it around to lead 2-1. Well, it all came from Bolivia rushing to keep the ball in on this near side. But in doing so, they squandered possession. And didn't they make him pay? Carlos Joaquin Correa with a majestic hit for his second international goal. And that might well be enough for Argentina to sneak all three points. Messi getting it through to Martinez. And look at that for a finish from Correa. Martinez was hoping to take it on himself, but then he saw there was a better option to his left. The power he got on that side foot finish was scintillating. Just a little bit of a conversation, I think, about the potential offside against Martinez when the ball was played through by Messi. It was certainly close. VAR are looking. That's the ball from Messi. I think he's onside there. It's very, very close. But I think Martinez is onside. Well, you can't get a lot closer than this. That's why the lines are being drawn and they're taking their time. But I think his left foot is playing. Martinez onside. That looks a good goal to me. But my goodness, it's close. The discussions continue. It's an agonizing wait for Correa. Still, the discussions continue. There it is again. Messi through to Martinez. Now, was he played on side by Jose Carrasco? It's so, so close. Yeah. The goal is given. It was very, very tight, but I think that's the right call. And now Bolivia can make the change. Diego Wayar is replaced by Nelson Orozco. And Bolivia have it all to do. Having led in the first half, they now find themselves behind. That was a three minutes. VAR check, so there will be a sizable chunk of stoppage time at the end. Messi, who played a decisive role in that second goal. No surprise there. And he gets the corner here. Even when he's on the fringes of things, he can conjure up that key pass at the right moment. And that's exactly what he did there. <laughs> Seventh corner for Argentina. They were now in no hurry at all. Messi near post. Shots on. He's blazed that over Dominguez. Wild effort, really. 
Argentina get a third goal, then uh, it's all over. Miranda. Bolivia certainly haven't given this up. Breaks kindly for a Rothko, first touch, back by Martins to Cardoso. Miranda. Cespedes out to Torres. Valverde. Carrasco. Oh, there's a bit of a hit and hope really from the centre back. Valverde. That's a better ball from the other centre back. Down goes Cardozo. No foul. Argentina hope to break. They haven't done so. Now, was that handball? Referee says no. Says Perez. Finds Bustamante. Down the line by Torres. Antonio Bustamante. Cespedes. Getting critical now for the home side. They have one more change. Cristiano Rabe is the player who they're going to bring on. See him uh, bottom right of your picture, number seven. Free kick taken quickly by Segredo. Here he is again. Miranda. Powerful header from Quarta. Carrasco. Torres. They have it back again. Argentina looking to hit Bolivia on the break once more. Correa. Well, a more circumspect approach now. They have the lead. And they have the free kick as well. So Arabe will be coming on here. And it'll be Rudy Cardozo to come off. Messi down for Argentina, meanwhile. Cardozo sprinting off. And Arabe, who plays for always ready. Comes sprinting on. There's nothing more that Farias can do now. It's up to the players on the pitch to try and engineer an equaliser. Otherwise, it'll be back-to-back -back defeats for Bolivia at the start of this qualifying campaign. They just haven't been able to replicate the pressure they imparted in the first half. In this second period, Argentina have undoubtedly got better. Free kick conceded by Boris Espérez. <laughs> Clipped forward by Otamendi. Boys oh, managed to get it into Taliafico. Messi. That was a chance for Correa to have a shot. He in, instead went back to his captain. Correa once more. He's hit that straight against Sal Torres, who's been very impressive at right back for Bolivia. Still absolutely full of energy. He takes the throw. Two minutes plus stoppage time. Oh, what a waste. That's exactly what Argentina wanted as they make another change. Facundo Medina 
coming on to replace Martinez. The man who bagged that extraordinary equaliser at the end of the first half. And it's a, a first ever cap for Medina, who plays for Lons in France. And he makes his debut at the age of 21 with a minute to go. Yellow card is shown to Dominguez. Well, it's all about how much stoppage time the officials add here. Could easily be four or five minutes. Argentina have the ball exactly where they want it. A good hundred yards or so from their own goal. Palacios to Correa, who could well be the match winner here. Montiel cleared by Valverde. Some uh, powerful running there from Orozco. Now we hear there's going to be seven minutes of stoppage time, and it has just been shown. So. There's a lot can happen here. There's two balls on the pitch there as well. Referee plays on. We're heading for a frenetic finale here in La Paz. Valverde. Segredo. I'm sure there was an inward groan there from Scaloni when he saw the number seven. And a yellow card as well for Palacios for that challenge. Argentina don't want to lose their discipline late on here. Closing in on another vital victory. Again, not convincing by any means by Argentina. It wasn't against Ecuador either. Although they had plenty of chances. Just the one goal from the penalty spot by Messi in that game. It's just a one goal lead here as well. Bolivia pushing for an equaliser. Martins. Arabe. Oh, and Valverde hoping to get on the end of that. The ball rather hit him rather than the other way round. Mane not in a rush to take the goal kick, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Booted up in the air by Gabriel Valverde. And a little push there by Dominguez. Still the possibility for Bolivia, but uh, that will be a free kick to Argentina. Torres, the man, bringing down Taliafico. And again, it just gives Argentina a, an opportunity to take as much time as they can. Medina takes. Torres. Headed away by Quarta. Oh, that's a blatant foul by Torres. Shame the yellow card for that. Taliafico going over. 
one full back on another six yellow cards in the game now as you can see Argentina not exactly over committing for this free kick they'll take 2-1 Playing at altitude here in La Paz, any sort of victory will do. Carrasco gets it away. Oh, that's helped on to no one in particular. Armani oh, boots it downfield. There'll be a throw to Bolivia. Argentina just doing whatever they need to do to get the job done now. Valverde to Sagredo. It's a good header by Montiel. Palacios. They'll take the throw. Safely negotiated five added minutes. Time running out for Bolivia. It's been tough going for the side ranked nine in the world. They've had to really dig in here and scrap. Bolivia may feel a little hard done by, but you can't deny the quality of that finish from Correa. Here's Arabe. Is there a bit of late drama to come? Bustamante. Oh, it was helped on, and uh, Martins couldn't quite get on the end of it. Goal kick given. Orozco is just trying to glance that header into the path of his captain. Last minute of stoppage time. They're nearly over the line, Argentina. the 10 defeats in the last 11 for Bolivia and that's the the sad truth and they've given away the free kick here says Pérez Argentina will most definitely take that because it keeps the ball high up the pitch as we tick towards the eighth minute of stoppage time here's what is surely the winning goal beautifully struck by Correa What a lovely clean hit. And a goal worthy of winning any game. Messi. He's lost it. Oh, they didn't hang on to it for long. Orozco gave it away. Montiel heads for the corner flag. And there's the full-time whistle. Victory for Argentina on match day one and match day two. And you can see what it means to the coach, Lionel Scaloni, and his players.